Uh, all packed up in the river, ready to go. There's Lydia. Stopping for a quick dinner at a uh, local fan favorite. This is her first time to cook up. So. Just got off the Blue Ridge Parkway. Um, we just uh, pretty much summed up our six hour drive and we are on dirt road and a little bit of rocks. So we're looking for a camp spot now. We're not looking for anything too crazy. We're just trying to find a little cutout that we can uh, sleep in and uh, stay the night. And uh, yeah, kind of crash for the night. Both very tired. It is t almost 12.30 um, at night. And suspension fault. Awesome. This is why I love Range River. So that's cool. Don't know why we're suspension faulting in off-road mode. Um, yeah, we'll talk about that later. But anyway, so we are looking for a place to camp for the night right now. And uh, we're in Pisgah National Forest uh, outside of Asheville. And we are tired, aren't we, wife? Yes. Cool. So we're going to close out tonight with this. Um, tomorrow, I might film a quick short video before we go to bed, but... We're gonna film uh, more tomorrow and stuff and, and get into it tomorrow. But right now we're just gonna try and set up camp real quick and, and uh, do our thing. Uh, it is uh, Saturday morning. We are at our camp spot in uh, Pisgah National Forest on the west side of Asheville. I don't exactly know where we are. We're off of Blue Ridge Parkway somewhere. Um, we got in super late last night. We got into the National Forest probably about 12.30. And we didn't actually get to a camp spot until probably closer to two in the morning. Um, we ended up getting uh, into a spot that was kind of pre-designated uh, camping, and all the spots were full, and you had to have reservations. So we ended up just keep driving, and driving, and after probably about an hour of driving in the national forest, we finally found just to pull off on the side of the road, um, and we we're able to. Uh, get some place to camp but a little bit rough of a uh, camp set up this morning don't really have it set up the way that we'd like to but okay. it is what it is this morning so because we got in super late so anyways so we're gonna take the girls for a walk eat some breakfast get everything packed back up and we're gonna start moving um we're gonna go try and find uh, some stuff to do today beautiful mountain roads perfect weather feels like it's like 70 something degrees outside which is yeah. perfect being in hot southeast Georgia for, gosh, like stuck for the whole pandemic for four or five months now. In the summer, like max humidity, absolutely miserable. Already hate southeast Georgia enough as it is for the heat and everything. <clears throat> but coming up to 75 degree weather is awesome. Oh, water. So, but, uh, yep. so I plan for the day. What are we doing today, wife? <laughs> we're doing muffins this morning. We're not getting in this cereal this morning. Oh, muffins. Yeah. Muffins or muffins. So, um, plan is to drive some of the Blue Ridge Parkway today um, and find a couple waterfall trails or drive mountain roads, whatever. I mean, we're not really picky. We have nowhere to be. Yep. So, we're going to break down camp because we want to find a different place to camp, anyways, tonight. Something a little bit more uh, us friendly. So, they're just by the side of the road. Give the girls a a little bit of space to run around oh, and stuff. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just hang out for the day. Do some relaxing. Look at that view. Look at all that dirt road. Doors are in use. I'm getting into the bathroom stuff so we can uh, clean up and brush teeth and stuff this morning. Lydia's got a perfect little uh, hangout zone up in the loft. Um, the mattress folded up and everything. So we're getting the truck kind of rearranged and packed up. You got Annabelle having a picnic with L'Oreal right now. So it's rearranging and stuff. Yeah, getting ready for a hike. And I think we're going up there. There's a bunch of people hiking up there. But let's start hiking.
<laughs> he's like dragging Bella up the hill. <laughs> on top of the world. Uh, peanut butter and jelly lunch time. Got a buble. Grapey flavoring. Um, so we're just snacking really quick. It makes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and some like chips and stuff. So I don't know where the wife's going. I think she's giving the dog some water. But we just finished up that hike. Awesome hike. Uh, Devil's Courthouse. Pretty cool. Uh, beautiful lookout. So. shows that it's a pretty long road so we'll be on here for a while looking for some camp spots for later um, everybody else is about pooped and tired mm -hmm. and sleeping so we're gonna go try and find a spot you know for a little bit at least and just crash for a little while take a nap maybe um, just relax we're at our camp spot we're at the end of the road uh, right past that little creek behind us there's a bunch of rocks in the way so they have that road blocked off. And then to the left, it used to be another road, but it's gated. So we're literally at the very, very end of the road um, here. But we got camp set up. Uh, there's our kitchen over there mm -hmm. with a tripod. We got our bed and all that stuff. And I'll probably do a glance at that tomorrow because it's getting kind of dark. Bella's a playpen. We got a nice little fire pit. And uh, we got our fancy rug and chairs going. The ground here. is covered in sparkles. Yeah. Why is it covered in sparkles? I don't know. When we got here, it's just sparkly. And it looks like there's all those little quartzy rocks, things everywhere. So what are we going to do? I'm going to collect rocks. <laughs> I want a rock. What am I going to do with them? Probably put them on a shelf somewhere and never touch them again. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Well, uh, we're gonna go rock hunting, so. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much going on, so we're just gonna kind of relax. It's uh, Saturday night, so it's probably about, what, four o'clock now, 3.30? Something like that. So it's about 3.30, so it's still pretty early um, down in camp. I uh, didn't really film a lot of our uh, drive over here, but we, oh, there's some of those rocks that's right pretty. there. Pretty. Hmm? Uh, didn't film our drive over here, but we did actually get on some uh, pretty rugged terrain, did a, um, some really, really steep hilly rock climbs, which is pretty fun. The river did excellent on that stuff. That was fun. Yeah, it was very fun. The girls were not very happy. They were <laughs> trying to sleep after their hike, and uh, they were pretty upset that they were getting rocked around. So, so it's pretty funny. But... Looks like petrified wood. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah. Not really sure. Look at that. Absolutely perfect. So I just woke up from a nap and it's about six o'clock right now. And it's absolutely beautiful out. Temperature is perfect. I've no idea what temperature it is, but it's probably low 70s right now. I'm cold, so it's a great temperature. Yeah, perfect temperature <laughs> when she's cold. Not freezing, she's just cold. <laughs> so you know it's perfect temperature. Uh, dogs all took a nap with us. They're all being super lazy now because they've hiked twice now today. Uh, except for her, she's still a puppy, so she's still a wild child. Um, hey. Okay. Okay, lay down.
she's pretty tired right now. Um, starting a fire. She's never tired. Annabelle's very tired. Starting a fire, we're cooking dinner on the fire. Have a have a two burner uh, Magellan Magellan uh, camp burner thing, camp stove. Absolute garbage. Uh, we haven't used it in a while. Doesn't work. Doesn't work at all. We have three bottles of propane and uh, nothing. So we'll be swapping that out when we get home. Um, in the meantime, I got the grate from it right there. And we're going to cook on cast iron skillets over the uh, fire. And uh, yeah, so tonight we are making uh, shrimp scampi. Box. I thought I heard something. There's something out in the woods. Believe it or not. Who? Anyways, uh, roll culinary footage now. Shrimp scampi, we got uh, onions and peppers, shrimp, uh, garlic, and some uh, Italian herb seasoning. And uh, there's also asparagus with the veggies, so yeah. Butter and more garlic for scampi sauce. Yeah, it melted down the butter for the most part. Now we got pasta that we're gonna add to. Yeah, we're gonna need a bigger skillet. And final product, not the prettiest, but it is really good. What do you mm -hmm. think? Really good. Yeah. You want one? No, okay. Right now at least. Finished up dinner. Roasting some marshmallows now. Huh? Going to uh, enjoy the rest of our night, relax some, hang out with the girls. Do nothing. Hmm? Do nothing but eat marshmallows and sleep. Yeah. We'll go to bed eventually. And uh, tomorrow we'll decide what we're going to do tomorrow because we have absolutely no idea what we're going to do. Until then, I can eat marshmallows. Uh, it's the next morning. Uh, I just woke up and the truck's dead. So that sucks. Um, no idea why the truck's dead. Uh, Range Rover problems, I guess. And not stoked about that like one freaking bit. So we're going to have to go find service or find somebody to come jump off our truck. And uh, we have a really, really long hike to even get close to somebody and possibly close to even get service so this sucks um yeah pretty pretty upset never had this issue with the range Rover before so i don't know what caused it to uh, die last night but it is this morning all the lights are stuck on and the tailgates stuck closed we can't even get to breakfast this morning and uh yeah this is uh pretty fucking awful uh, well, we're setting off on a hike to go either find somebody else to come jump off our car or to uh, um, to call somebody to come and help us. So we'll kind of see how this goes. Got a really, really long hike if we're going to uh, end up trying to find somebody. And I mean a really long hike. So not good. This sucks. So we contacted the local uh, police because we have absolutely no way of getting to anybody um, right now and there's no ca nobody camping like even remotely close to us probably within eight to ten miles Something like that. Um, so we got service luckily like right next to where we're camping we're camped like right over there um, down the road um, so we're on like the highest elevation mountain that's like over here or the highest elevation like that's over here I think we're like I said 4,300 feet so we got cell service which is good so they're able to call. They're trying to get in contact to see if there's anybody out there that can uh, jump us off or come up and jump us off. Um, but currently we're sitting out here, uh, Pisgah National Forest, over off the of Blue Ridge Parkway somewhere in Jackson County, I think it is. Yeah. And uh, great campsite. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful out here. Temperature is great. It's probably like 65 degrees out right now. It's Still actually kind of chilly. <laughs> um, the sun hasn't coming up. It's about 9 o'clock right now. Um, 
And uh, this has turned into quite the non-adventure. Our goal this morning was to eat cereal, pack up camp, and go find a place to hike somewhere fun, take the girls by the waterfall. Mm -hmm. um, and there's actually Dill Falls really close to here. So we're gonna go check that out. And uh, we couldn't even get the truck started this morning. I can't even open up the tailgate this morning because the battery's dead. Um, That's stupid. So being that the tailgate's uh, locked shut, we can't get to food. So we can't even eat breakfast uh, right now. Um, uh, truck has started. Uh, they came out and jumped us, which was awesome. Uh, so, yeah, so now we're good. <clears throat> now we are eating some much anticipated cereal. I have a Dunkin' yeah. Donuts mocha coffee. She's got Funfetti, so we decided it would be a fun way to, you know, <laughs> eat breakfast while camping. But good to go. The truck is mostly packed up. We got to pack up the coolers, and we're going to go try and meet up with my parents and hang out for a little bit. So, on the next thing. It's delicious, by the way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if a uh, high 10 out of 10 would recommend. Let's get it. Yesterday, after we got the car battery uh, fiasco situated, we met up with my parents, my brother, who's here from California, um, with his wife. They're uh, here because of the wildfires up there that were close to their house, so they're kind of they're over on the east coast for a couple weeks. All everything gets situated there. Um, but my little brother also, uh, who lives in Columbia, um, South Carolina. I uh, came up to my parents. We're in Greenville right now, by the way. So um, everybody kind of met up for the first time since uh, my wedding, actually, like almost two years ago. So that being said, we decided to just kind of cut the camp trip early because we were having a lot of bad luck and a lot of issues and stuff and just came and hung out at my parents' place. So we're camped out in their driveway right now. Um, beds all set up and everything. So um, first night, um, just in terms of kind of the sleeping situation. First night was a little bit rough. Second night, slept great. We actually took a nap in here. Um, the second day we were out and was super comfortable. Um, the second night was super comfortable. Um, <clears throat> and then the only issue was the truck battery dying. <clears throat> and the only issue was the truck battery dying. And then this morning, the third night, we slept pretty good last night too. Um, in the driveway and we're having the same battery issue again so i'm beginning to think my truck battery is actually going out the door but i think sleeping and stuff's not probably not helping and everything but we're going to uh um figure that out we did get a jumper box so now we actually do have something to jump the battery um but we're going to try and figure that out but the bed setup super comfortable a couple things need to fix but they'll probably do a video on that and, and fix everything on that and do a kind of update. Uh, yeah, so we're going to pack everything up, probably hang out with everybody for a little bit this morning and then uh, probably head home probably before noon. So we got another, I think it's about five hour drive today to get home, maybe a little bit less than that. Um, so yeah, we're going to head home today. Today is Labor Day. It's Monday. Um, and wife and I have to work tomorrow. So but I'm going to close out here. Um, overall, beautiful trip. It was not the best camping trip. It was the most 2020 camping trip you could ever ask for, for us. So it was um, pretty stressful. It was not relaxing at all, which is what we really wanted, was just to come up and relax. But nonetheless, it was fun. It was scenic and uh, never a bad time on the mountains, even with everything that went on. So, But, uh, and keep tuned and uh hopefully see some nicer camp trips but I'm not going to try and glorify it either <coughs> um you know see the trials and the errors of camping the uh, the good the bad the ugly and um yeah especially be as being a range rover owner so. but y'all keep it real